Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video we're going to be migrating uh, the extension that we built um, in my honey course and in the last video on this channel. So we'll be doing this in two parts. So we're going to be first converting the um, sort of raw vanilla version which was built with Firebase version, I think it was version 6 or 7. And then we'll also be migrating the uh, change version to Firebase version 9 which is already using Rollup. So essentially the first part will be setting up our extension to use Rollup and then converting that to Manifest version 3 and then the second part will be we already have Rollup and we're just converting that to Manifest version 3. So just to recap this is what the extension does so it uh, will show this little icon in the, the corner of the screen when you're browsing I actually have it enabled here so you can see it up here and then when you click onto it you can see if a user has saved any coupons um, for this site before so it's Fairly straightforward extension inspired by Honey, let's say that. Um, so it lets you show sort of information on the page so it injects um, from, from the background or from the service worker, which is what we're going to be migrating it to now. So the first thing we need to do is actually um, use a package manager. So that could be NPM or Yarn um, because we need to be using um, Rollup. So this is the Rollup plugin here, which is one of the best ways you can package and build extensions. I definitely recommend uh, taking a look, you can see the website up here is extend-chrome.dev um, and it's one of the best, like I say, best ways of, of packaging up your extension. Um, they provide a number of templates as well to help you get started. Um, so whether that's in JavaScript, TypeScript, and they include React and everything you need in there as well. Um, so to begin with, we're going to go over to VS Code and take a look what we have so far. So as you can see, we have a uh, app.js, our background.html, coupon, Firebase file, and our manifest, which for the most part is going to stay exactly the same. So all we're actually really going to be doing with this is going to be making some changes to our manifest, but moving everything into a new folder, which we'll create now. So let's just go up and create a folder called source, which is what we're going to be using here. And then we're just going to do yarn, yarn init. Um, what do we want to name our project? Let's just name it um, project. We're going to take out any dashes, um, forward slashes, you know, special symbols we might have from there. Um, version, we'll just call it 0 .0 0.0.1. Description, we'll just leave that blank. Entry point, we'll just leave that blank. We'll leave this blank. Um, again, we don't need an author, a license, private, let's just say true for now. Okay, so what that's done is it's generated this package, uh, package.json file. Now I'm going to take out a few things here because it doesn't really um, help for this example. I just want to keep it as simple as possible. So we remove these. Okay, and then what we need to do is actually start getting the, uh, the rollup plugin in, into this. Yeah, as you can see here, this is the command we need to run. So you can see it's rollup plugin, Chrome extension latest. This um, command here, this slash uh, D and capital D, um, basically makes sure that we only run this as a development dependency. So it's not going to be included in the package that's built. It's just when we're running it locally. So all we need to do here is say yarn add. Uh, let's just move this up so you can see. OK, so we're going to run this command. I'm just going to make a slight change here. Uh, to set a specific version just because of the version of node that I have locally. Um, this would then install rollup and then in install the rollup plugin. Um, so I'll run that now. So you can see there it's just going to run and install all the files and there we have it. So what that's done is updated our package just here to have these two dependencies. So we have rollup and we have the rollup uh, plugin for the Chrome extension just here. Now what this will need is a separate configuration file um, for actually running this. So if we go back to the site just here, you'll see down here, it's telling us to create a config file. So we're just going to copy this for now and make some small adjustments to it. So we basically need to make a new file called rollupconfig.js. So we'll go back in and we'll create that and we'll save. So what you can see this is doing is it's saying our input is just here. So we want to have a source folder, which we've just created. And then it's going to be a manifest file inside here. And then we're going to output to a new folder called disk. We don't need to create that. Um, that's going to get built automatically. 
So what we need to do is move all of these files that we've got for our extension inside of this source folder. So we can just drag them in. Uh, now, if you're using um, Git to keep track of all your changes, make sure as well that you um, create a git ignore file because you won't want to include node modules or the, the um, distribution fo uh, folder here um, and even things like yarn lock and uh, package lock. You don't need those either. So we'll just add them to our git ignore and then what you can do to check that that's actually taken effect is just take a look um, at your local changes and they should be ignored. Yeah, so you can see now that the node modules and uh, other files aren't included here. In fact, they probably weren't even included before. So that's good. So that's making sure that that's, that's taken effect. It's starting to come together now. So we can see that we have this rollup config. We have a package with, with the uh, dev dependencies, um, which is almost everything we need. Um, but we just need a couple more um, packages in here. So I've um, added a few more here um, and I'll put a link to this in the description so you can uh, get these. Um, but once you've added more, even if you just take this whole uh, package.json file and you can then install these in one go just by saying yarn or npm install. Let me just move this up again. So we're going to say yarn install and that will then install all of these new packages just here. Um, the main ones are really um, crossm just here and this zip uh, zip plugin um, and you'll see why for that in, in a moment but it's just to make it easier to package and, and bundle up our extension so we're going to make a change in a minute to our package uh, file here just to add some scripts now these are basically um, commands that we can run in our command line that will perform actions so essentially we want to have one to set up a spin up like a development version of our extension um, which uh, github copilot has almost guessed but it's not quite right um, and we want to have one to build our extension. So this could be one that's like an example build that will get sent to the web store. And then we'll have another one that will create a release build for our extension, which you could sort of extend with a GitHub action, for example, to actually, you know, submit a real build through to the web store. But we'll talk about that in a, in another video. Um, so in, in these commands here, we can run, uh, the rollup command to actually use this file here to create and build a version of our extension. So to do this, it's quite straightforward. So you can see we have these commands here. So we have rollup um, for the dev command with this extra attribute at the end here, which is basically to watch and listen for any changes. So that will create a new version. So we don't have to keep you know, refreshing everything every time. Then we have a version for build, which is doing exactly the same thing essentially, but without that um, reloading happening. And then we have a release uh, build here which is just basically calling exactly the same command but it's setting a uh, a uh, environment variable that we can use within our rollup uh, config to actually make some make some different actions happen essentially so in this example it's going to create a uh, build to a separate location and zip it up so we can use that for submitting to the web store so to run these all you need to do is just say yarn if you're using npm, it'll be slightly different, but I'll do these examples with yarn. So we'll say yarn dev, and that's going to take our extension and uh, and run it. Although I made a, a mistake, you can see I put script rather than scripts. So if we go back and run yarn dev again, you can see now it's run that command and built our extension into this file just here. So it's done everything's exactly the same. It's still using manifest version two at the moment, but it's outputted now an extension that we can run. Everything has been compiled. You can see it's exactly the same here, and you know that's fine. But what we need to do to actually migrate to version three, so the main point of this video, is to go into our source folder where we actually have our manifest file now, and we're going to make some changes. So the first thing we're going to do is remove our content security policy. Um, because we, we won't need that. We're going to change to use manifest version three. We're going to change our background page 
to be a service worker. And that's going to call Firebase directly. We'll remove this part just here. And one thing to mention as well, when we're using Rollup, and uh, specifically this plugin, this uh, will cause a potential issue. So we're just going to change this instead. Just like this day, that should be like this. And then we need to put that up here as well. So just change this one. And then save. We also need to move this one here. You can see this is in our permissions. In manifest versions 3, this is moved into host permissions. Like that. Then we'll create a new array. Add it in here. Close the array. Oh, I've got double quick. So if we save that, we should now see that there we go, it's working and it's built our extension uh, correctly. If we check our manifest, you can see in here now we have our um, manifest version 3 uh, manifest file built. So this is what the plugin does really well. It goes through and checks all of our um, files, adds in extra elements like this and essentially compiles it in um, so it's you know better for running. So this now is an extension we can use manifest version 3. Now we won't need this file, for example, because we're using our service worker directly, and that would be uh, good to go. Now, the only other change is that we would need to import and use Firebase uh, directly. So we would need to make a couple of changes um, to use Firebase version 9, um, which leads us nicely onto the changes that you'd need if you're starting with already using Firebase version 9. So let's take a look at what those changes would need to be. Okay, so if you already have the changes in to use Firebase version 9, um, you already have this part of the video, but what we need to do first is because we've uh, changed branch and we've have some different packages, so if we look at our, our package.json here, you can see that we have things slightly different in this version. We still have our, our dev command, we still have our build command, um, but what we would have had in here in fact, I'm going to go and move, remove these, just with the last one. As you can see, we also have Firebase. So we're going to run yarn install again to get to the same point. That's just going to make sure that we're using everything that we need in this branch. Um, I'll put a link to all of this in the description as well, um, so you can follow along. But this should then make sure that we have all the files that we need. So as you can see, we don't have any uh, background scripts or anything in here because we've already uh, migrated to use uh, Firebase version 9. So the main change that we made whilst that uh, is here is you can see we're importing from Firebase. So the previous one handled that in the uh, background.html. So as soon as you've removed that and you add uh, Firebase into your your dependencies just here. This will need to be in the main dependencies, not a dev dependency, uh, just to make sure that's in there. Um, this is a slightly older branch, as you can see, we had everything in this same area here, but ideally you'd separate that out between actual dependencies and, and dev dependencies, but it doesn't really matter for this example. So as you can see here, we've imported Firebase and everything else is exactly the same. Um, it just means that we're using Firebase version nine here, so we don't have to worry about that background page. And then if we run, let's just clear this and run yarn dev, you can see this is going to create a version still for manifest version 2. So if we look in here now and check our manifest, you can see yeah, it's version 2. So now we need to make our changes in here for manifest version 3. Now, they should be really straightforward. So we're just going to remove all URLs up here. We're going to create our new host permissions array. There we go. And we know now that this needs to follow the same format that we had before. So it's our, our star. It's like this. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. Like that. So our content script will have it and then we can remove our security policy because we don't actually call Firebase at all here. It's all handled um, through the imports that we have from those dep dependency packages. We can change that and then change this to version three. Now what we should find, oh yeah, so we also need to change this to be a service worker. 
like that. And this can't be an array, it has to be a string, just like we did uh, in, in step one. So now we can see that that has worked. So we have everything updated here. So if we check our manifest, you can see it's version three. We've got our service worker, we have our host permissions, everything's imported. And if we look in Firebase, you can see that we're still version. This has the actual Firebase version uh, included in there as well. And everything else should be pretty much exactly the same. So that is uh, pretty much everything for this video. I just wanted to highlight um, those, those key areas. So you can see, I forgot to mention this earlier. So if we were to do uh, create a release version, we would be able to use these uh, roll-up uh, zip the zip plugin for for roll up so what this will basically do is if you pass in that um environment variable using the cross env package that would make this is production uh true so then down here at the end of this here we'll be running this extra command so all that would do is create a new directory and zip it up so if we just check in here i don't think we have no we don't have that here so let's just create it now so we can say release it's not this so we would do is say cross env if production so we're going to set that and then we're going to run that command so if we close this and do yarn release we need to actually install cross env first so we're just going to do yarn add cross env so if we just wait for that clear this we're going to run the command again on release you can see now over here if we keep a look it's creating a um, extension and we have releases and then we have a zip uh, file that's been built now again I just want to mention um, if we had something extra in our name here so say we had a forward slash in the name and we tried to run this we would have an error because we've got illegal characters or if we had like an at symbol at the start and then tried to run it it would have have an issue so just be careful what characters you're naming your extension when you're you're doing this because that is what this is going to essentially grab um, as the name here for, for the file so you can see that's changed slightly so you can have a dash um, maybe it was a bit over the top with my warning about that earlier um, but that's just something to look for when you're running this because um, that can be a little annoying error that creeps in that might not necessarily be obvious uh, when you're when you're creating this so yeah so that's how you can migrate the extension that we built in the, the last video across to manifest version 3 whether you uh, created it a while ago with firebase version i think it was 7 or if you're using firebase version 9. if you've got any questions feel free to leave a comment on this video or drop me a dm on twitter I might be able to reply to that a little bit faster but anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one